Friends, welcome to another in our ongoing series of prayer videos as together we consider prayer, raise up to God our concerns and celebrations, and hold our parish prayer list and others in prayer. Pastor Reed Bear here. Friends, as always, if you have specific prayer concerns or celebrations you would like raised up, just email me or call the church office and we'll be glad to add them in. Now, by way of celebrations, we have some birthdays this week. Today is Carol Allen's birthday. On the 11th, Jackson Welch. On the 13th, Kim Baker. Also, our church administrator, Sue McEwen, is back after being out for a week with the COVID. It's great to have her back in the office. Now, by way of concerns, of course, we continue to hold the people of Ukraine in prayer as the war drags on and winter is setting in. And ditto for Jean Birch, who fell and broke her rib last week. And we need to continue to pray for the asylum seekers in our midst who are struggling to get by as their claims are being adjudicated. Friends, we're often embarrassed when it comes to prayer, figuring that there is some sort of special technique that's required or a special form to follow or a proper attitude without which it's just a no-go. Now, Jesus' disciples had similar concerns, so kudos to them for one day just coming up to Jesus and asking him how they ought to pray. And here's what Jesus did not say. Go find a book and read up about it. Go off to a quiet place and wait for the Spirit of God to fill you. Fall on your knees, close your eyes, clasp your hands together, and then dot, dot, dot. No, this is what he said. He said, pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It's a gift. You know how sometimes when you meet someone new and you don't know what to say, where to start? Well, in giving us this prayer, Jesus jumpstarts our conversation with God. We don't have to think of an opening line. We've got a whole paragraph right, right there at our disposal. Now, this is what Will Willimon thinks about it. He writes, learning to pray this prayer, allowing it to become second nature to us. It takes time, habit. We pray out of habit. Sometimes people say, I often feel guilty that when I'm praying the Lord's Prayer, I'm not really thinking about what I'm praying. I just say the words out of habit. But habit is good. Most of the really important things we do in life, we do out of habit. We eat, sleep, make love, shake hands, hug our children out of habit. Some things in life are too important to be left up to chance. Some things in life are too important to be left up to spontaneous desire. Things like telling people that we love them or praying to God. So we do them out of habit. So let us continue our habit of holding the members of our parish prayer list in prayer as together we listen to the Lord's Prayer performed by Steve and Joan Gregory. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is on in heaven, as it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us all and our sins, us all our sins. Lead us not, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us from evil, us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. in hell. 
God bless you all, and God be with you until we meet again.